guys! How are you? So, I came here to you to prove our Father God. Uh, he's a little against it, but it's my will to do it. Then, he said to me, Okay, well, I'm here to say that if you believe or not, yes, he is. So, did you observe that some in our world, there are changes like this uh, country that never rain or a country that the weather changes <laughs> so one 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 because i have told you god came down to save me to save us so for my fellow divines that gives information is information to save us to what we become became not to just like the revelation not to destroy anything but to save us If you don't want to save yourself for your becoming self, it's up to you. But I know there's a lot who is willing there. Like me. You know, as I observe, the meaning of synchron synchronicity is... We can apply it in ourselves, family, friends, neighbors, environment, and all over the world. As I see, as I say, if you want to apply unity in everything, you have to unite yourself first, then family, then friends, then environment, then everyone. It all starts from ourselves. So, I want, let's just uh, watch this one. Wow, what a nice gift, Dr. Ju. Let's watch this, this video. In quantum physics, all possibilities exist in the present moment. But most people's brains are anticipating the future based on the past, and they're not present. So then it requires training and practicing finding the present moment and beginning to change their habits and their thoughts and their behaviors. Most people don't know this, but there's an invisible field of energy around your body. And when you react to someone or something, you draw from this invisible field and you turn it into chemistry. And the field around your body shrinks. And now you're more matter and less energy. You're more particle and less wave. And most people then, when you are matter trying to change matter, you always try to force the outcome. You try to control the outcome. You try to predict the outcome. And people then get competitive or they hold on or they manipulate or they cheat or they steal because that's the only way they can get what they want. But the quantum model of reality, when you are truly in the present moment, when a person begins to open their heart, and they can begin to sustain a elevated emotion. They begin to broaden the magnetic field around their body to nine meters wide. Now they're more energy than matter. They're more wave than particle. And they can exert better effects on reality. 
So then think of when you open your heart, this is science, like dropping a pebble in water. You produce a ripple. If you drop a bigger stone, you produce a bigger ripple. If you're able to sustain that state, you keep dropping the same rock over and over again and you broadcast a signature into the field. The emotion is the magnetic charge. Your intention, your thought, is the information that's carried on that wave. And when you combine a clear intention with an elevated emotion, you begin to produce an effect on matter. You see, the thoughts that you think are the electrical charge in the quantum field. The feelings that you emote are the magnetic charge in the quantum field. And how you think and how you feel broadcasts an electromagnetic signature that influences every single atom in your life. The thought sends the signal out and the feeling draws the event back. So if you're walking around your life feeling sorry for yourself and feeling like a victim, you are broadcasting that signature into the field and you will create more experiences to suffer because we are not punished for our sins. We are punished by our sins and sin is an attitude and sin is how you think and how you feel. So then when you cause people to give up their guilt and their shame and their unworthiness and teach them how to open their heart and create coherent waves in their brain and in their heart, they are going to produce the miraculous. It takes training and it takes practice and it takes learning new information and deprogramming ourselves into believing that we're limited. But if you're living by the hormones of stress and you have no energy, no field, then you can't produce an effect on matter. So then, life is about the management of energy. And where you place your attention is where you place your energy. And if your attention is on the knowns and in the predictable future, or your attention is on the familiar emotions of the past, you are siphoning energy out of the present moment. And you have no energy to create with. And when you're able to do this and practice it really well, you will begin to do what's innately your birthright and that is to create an unknown or wonderful experience in your life so it just takes practice in order to do it wow the way he explains it and science wow it's a nice gift he that's that's his gift and explaining it through science so me it's all possible to God because I never practice I never I'm just doing my thing we're just doing our thing but this one came to me this test and everything came and you look you look the information that I'm giving you that is all came from him yes him the most intelligent is of course the one who created the earth one 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 again so, I hope I convince you guys, go and heal yourself, because even the, your pain is very little when it adds up, like it compi uh, paper that compiles, a working, work people that, inc that compiles, then later on it will be big. Better too? Every time that you feel a pain or trauma in your life, bitter to meditate with God and submit that to Him. I think that's enough. Statement again.
Thank you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, click the bell notification, comment if you want, and share. See you again in my next videos.